Hey, this is John Rogers with Big Pages, and I'm here to talk to Mary, the owner of Derby City Appliance Parks. Mary, tell us what's going on at Derby City Appliance Parks. Well, it's a new year. We're ready to uh, take on some new challenges, but mainly we want to get across to, to everybody how much we try to give you personal service. We try to help you with your repair not just tell you, oh, it ought to be this, and sell you something that you really don't need. That's very interesting. And you have another location on Taylor Boulevard, is that true? Yes, sir. My daughter runs that, and Donna is as conscientious as we are here at this location. You serve the entire city because people, can, can they still uh, drop off and pick up uh, repairs at different places? I don't know of anybody that does repair like that. Okay. We just sell the parts. So if the parts not here, how long does it take to maybe? Usually we can have most things overnight. Overnight. So that's cool. But as a service to the people that are here trying to uh, pick up parts and different things, you also uh, you uh, cut keys? We cut keys. We. We are a drop-off site for cell phones for soldiers. Right. How long have you been doing that? We've been doing that for about uh, 15 years. Tell us about cell phones for soldiers. It's a, a young uh, brother and sister. They started this when they were still in high school. And they, they have a, a system where you send them cell phones. They recycle everything in the phone that can be recycled. With that money, they buy uh, phone cards, which they send to uh, the military so that they can call home free of charge. That's excellent. As far as pricing on the different products that you sell, it's fairly competitive and reasonable, isn't it? Yes, sir. We try to, we try to stay current with the, the community that we live in. Uh, Everybody fights the internet because the internet can sell so much cheaper because they don't have a warehouse. They don't have employees. We do. But you have a pretty big supply back there behind you as I look behind it. That's a pretty deep inventory. Yes. Several different uh, aisles of inventory. That's a lot of money to be tied up in inventory, isn't it? Yes, sir. What are you looking forward to this year? What am I looking forward? I <laughs> I have goals that I have set for the business, and I'm looking forward to, to being able to re realize those goals. I am always looking for good people. Uh, we're always looking for customers. Well, it's, it's a challenge to uh, find the right match for the right job sometimes, but there's people out there probably who would just be perfect for uh, being a, an employee here, don't you think? I'm sure they're out there if I could just find them. <laughs> well, they'll show up. I hope you have a great year, and I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of progress this year. Thank you for talking with me. It's been wonderful. All right, have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>